What's up, dudes? It's Pixel Tricks. Welcome to Tekken 6. Yeah, right. So this is where the uh, story takes a nosedive. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I think it's cool. They add a lot of new characters. And uh, yeah, I'll do my best to try to explain everything uh, to the best of my ability. There is a lot going on in Tekken 6 because they add this new uh, this new character and stuff and this new kind of like separate like plot lines that are pretty important to the canon. And we are playing Kazuya storyline, which is like kind of canon until the ending right that's typically how it goes with kazuya and his uh, story stuff because he can never actually get shit done right <laughs> so okay so at this point jin is in control of the mishima zaibatsu if you remember last time jin won the tournament so he uh is now the rightful owner of the mishima zaibatsu they're all at his command now so he uses this newfound power and wealth to wage war with the rest of the world. Yeah, he separates himself from all other nations and uh, creates this massive world war because of this voice in his head that is commanding him to do so. Yeah, he started this war because he like heard something. It's like the devil gene within him and uh, it's actually manifesting itself and it's trying to become like a uh, an actual like physical being. And the only way you can actually become a physical being is if him and Kazuya meet up and uh, fight each other. She's always walking around with her fighting gloves, just in case. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know who this guy is. <laughs> this big ass dude, bro. <laughs> he stops the robbers and he does the spin right here, yeah. <laughs> I love this guy. I don't know who he is. And then these girls were fighting, I don't know who they are. I can explain that as more characters, bro. She's cute as hell, bro. Oh, here's Paul. Doing Paul stuff, still rocking the Etika cut. He's looking good, man. <laughs> yeah, this big ass dude doing flips, starting the robbery. But yeah, at this point, Kazuya actually is the leader of the uh, G Corporation. He's taken over. And he uses his uh, new power and influence to, I guess, uh, position himself in uh, in the nation's favors. Like, everyone praises him and his work because he's working against Jin. Yeah, so everyone, like, everyone in the world is, like, behind Kazuya right now because he's trying to stop Jin because Jin is, like, losing his mind because this right here. This thing is making Jin, like, lose his shit in order to get a, a physical presence him and uh Kazuya have to fight each other and that's essentially the long and short of it for Tekken 6 yeah all right so this is the PSP version of Tekken 6 we'll be playing through Kazuya's uh story mode the king of the iron fist tournament the one who emerges victorious in this tournament will earn the title of Tekken lord new chapter of the Tekken story is about to begin Killing the G Corporation officials who had betrayed him, Kazuya Mishima succeeded in taking control of the corporation from behind the scenes. However, in the meantime, the world was quickly slipping into chaos due to the activities of the Mishima Zaibatsu, led by Jin Kazama. Kazuya could never accept a world controlled by anyone but himself, and so he set out to use the military power of the G Corporation to surpass the Mishima Zaibatsu. As a result, the G Corporation was praised by the nations of the world as heroic for its actions. Judging that the G Corporation's public influence had become great enough, Kazuya utilized public opinion to its fullest to announce a hefty bounty for anyone who could capture Jin alive. In response, the Mishima Zaibatsu quickly announced the king of Iron Fist Tournament 6. This was just as Kazuya had predicted. He smiled in satisfaction. Get ready for the next event. Yeah, okay, so this is Lars. He is a pretty big deal in uh, this story because he actually was a soldier in Jin's army. But he saw what Jin was doing, like starting a war and stuff, so he rebelled against Jin. And he like took some soldiers with him, right? To rebel against what Jin was doing. And then it's later revealed that Lars is actually Heihachi's illegitimate son. Yeah, so he's Kazuya's half-brother, this guy right here. Uh, which is wild. Like, what a twist, right? Yeah, so, uh... 
essentially Oh wow, look at that. I, lear I learned some tech and stuff. <laughs> yeah. I was trying my best to learn some cool combos to try to show off to you guys. Yeah. But yeah, it's a pretty big plot point, so I just want to point that out while Lars is here. <laughs> yeah, like, he's a pretty big player at the end of the game. So the story mode is pretty short. As you can see, we're already here at Heihachi in Kazuya story mode. Round one. Dude, look at the state. Look how beautiful this is. Oh my god, this is a PSP game, bro. Like, I'm so impressed with how it turned out. Like, wow. This system, bro. Get the launcher to the knee, yeah. Look at those pants, man. Those are like $9,000 pants right there, bro. <laughs> like, pure, like, I don't even know what it's made out of. <laughs> like, gold, gold encrusted, like, who knows. Look at that, man. Shoes, too. I love those shoes. Look how cool that is. Hey, Hachi shoes right here. I love those. Right. Oh, the launcher. Okay. Oh wow, sit down, man. Dude, I'm getting juggled on the floor. Look at that. Yeah. Okay. So I've been using that trip to actually like uh follow up into like this knee theme. Which it just it looks so cool, man. Yeah. Well, Tekken like really gives you so many options. Like it's it's seemingly endless, right? With all these like uh, combo variety, you can go for it. Yeah, it's real hype, man. All right, let's see. Let's see if I do some cool. I hope. Okay, hit him with the one two, the one two buckle my shoe. Cause you wearing this weird ass shit here again. Yeah, look at that. You can get some goofy stuff. That's some weird. <laughs> wow, right into the arrows, man. Right into the arrows, you go. Yeah. Uh oh. Whenever someone ducks my 10 hit combo, I'm like, oh man. Yeah, okay, so this game uh, actually introduced a new mechanic called Rage. When you're at low health, you do more damage. And you'll actually... Okay, so this is the uh, the demon that's inside Jin's head, right? This is the thing that was manifested because... Uh, because Kazuya and Jin battled. Or, or some shit, right? Yeah, this this boss, dude. Oh my god. I think this is another reason. I know a lot of people rage about this boss, too. I, it's like these fighting game, like, fun of bosses, right? Like, yeah. So I guess in the canon storyline, this thing is defeated by uh, Lars. Yeah, Lars and his friend Raven. You remember Raven from Tekken 5? I guess he's working with Lars. So this thing is defeated by them. But it can't die. Uh, unless it's by someone who has the devil gene. So, they defeat Jin, and then they ask him to defeat this thing, right? Yeah, exactly. So, at the end of the day, Jin is the one that actually kills Azazel. This man's name is Azazel. Is that here trying to dazzle? Okay, so, look at my health bar. You see how it's red? That means I'm in rage. Yeah, so that means I'm doing like more damage. Right. Which is honestly such a cool mechanic. Uh, it makes the comebacks like super possible. And uh, yeah, I think it's a really welcome thing. So I actually saw Kazuya glowing red in the Smash trailer. So I'm assuming over like 100% he's going to have rage in the game and do more damage. Similar to like Terry's Go meter, right? So, uh, yeah, just call him that now, right? Oh, yeah, you can also juggle this boss, as you can see right there. Isn't that cool? So, yeah, like this boss, like, uh, normally I prefer not having like gnarly far out bosses, but like you can juggle him, so it looks really funny. So, I, I actually don't mind it. Yeah, so look at this. Look how much more damage I'm doing because I'm in rage. Isn't that crazy? Wow, it was so close. Yeah, you have to block that standing or else he kills you. Get ready for the next Here's Devil Jin. He looks a lot more like Angel Jin, if I'm being perfectly honest. This cow ass uh, outfit my boy is rocking right here. Look how sick that is, bro. Isn't that a sick follow up? I think so. It's crazy to see how far I've come in this past week of Tekken, bros. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, this game is so much fun. I'm so glad we decided to do this. Nice kicks, bro. It's a, something so funny about seeing like this gnarly angel monster demon like 
<laughs> have this tantrum and just kick his feet when he loses, right? Yep. Devil Jin, everyone. But yeah, I guess uh, Devil Jin is the one that uh, killed Azazel. But yeah, he still uh, he still will have his like devil powers at the end of the day, because Azazel. I don't know if I've even pointed this out yet. Azazel is the one responsible for the devil gene. Like it's because of Azazel, the devil gene is the theme, and uh, this is why Jin looks like this, <laughs> right? <laughs> and has eye lasers and shit, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. But yeah, even though Azazel dies at the end of this, Cannon dies, the giant monster dies. Uh, they'll, they'll still have their, like, uh, devil powers and stuff. Yeah. Get with the trip. Yeah, that trips. And then you can get a follow-up like that. Isn't that cool? Hey, sit down, Jin. I'm the leader of the story now. Blah. He wishes, right? Okay, so this isn't canon, but in this timeline, I guess we can call it, right? Kazuya beats down everyone. He destroys the evil monster demon. He destroys his half-brother. And he destroys his son. And he comes out. And I guess this is the Mishima Zaibatsu. Right? These are the people that are, uh, you know, under control from Jin. So, Kazuya comes out and he's like, I killed him. He's dead. And everyone's like, oh, okay. Well, I guess we worship you now, right? Like, I guess you own us. Because that's definitely how corporate takeovers work. In the real world, so like, <laughs> it's like, it's like, dude, I want to be the CEO of Starbucks. I should just go kill him, right? Like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, we definitely wouldn't like shoot him on the spot. Yeah, okay, so that was really short. So I decided to play through the arcade mode as well. You see that pink hair girl on the character select screen? That's the android that was uh, undercover. Did I even mention that? I really hope I did. <laughs> yeah, okay, so there was this android that was undercover that was spying on uh, Lars. It was doing intel for uh, Jin, yeah. It seemed like an important enough detail just to mention. I know that will become relevant in the next game, so I just want to put it out there just for a moment. This poor person, dude. God, that looks so painful. <laughs> Getting your head smacked against the uh, wall. Leo. Leo. Okay. Uh, nice. Oh, let me get right back up. Uh, uh, uh. Nice. Looks so cool. Oh, nice, nice little three-piece combo right there. Yeah, that's a nice. That's a new one. That's a new one. All right, I got kicks. Look at that, man. Oh, I beat the shit out of this poor woman. <laughs> right here, yeah. Okay, I had to. I had to show this off. This is the best part of Tekken 6. Okay, so first of all, let me uh, sidestep here. Yeah, let me show off the pigs. Yeah, of course, right? I had to. Oh, oh my, dude, that looks so painful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you see the pig? Look at that. Oh my god, that girl's leg is twitching, bro. <laughs> Did you see that shit? Apparently, that's a thing across. Yeah, look at the pig. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> the pig combos, bro. <laughs> I don't know why they did that, but I'm so happy they, they did that animated the pigs flying all over the place when you get too close. Yeah, you see that shit? <laughs> it's too good, man. What a goofy game Tekken is, man. Like, for real, for real. It's like one of the goofiest games I think I've played. Like, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, so, uh... You can upload your ghosts, and uh, people can run into them in arcade mode. So yeah, this is a ghost of another player. Yeah, that's right. So I, the way it works is they'll... Uh, so you see how I'm doing this combo over and over again? That? So I guess my ghost, if I uploaded it, would be doing the same stuff I'm doing. Like, they would do that follow-up. They would do the flippy spin kick. Which is actually really cool. Yeah, he has rage, so he does a lot of damage. Look at that. Look at that comeback. Look at that comeback factor in this game now, man. Oh no. That's scary, man. Jeez. That was so close. I almost got destroyed by Bazooka Ghost. It's wild. Got the trip? Alright. Missed my follow up. Hit him with the 1 2 book on my shoe, my boys. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Got the launcher, got the knee, got him on the wall. 
Give him a couple kicks? Skip to my loot, my darling. Wow. Hit him with a 1 2 2, man. Let's go. Let's go, Kazuya. It's Brian, everyone. Everyone's favorite character. Look at this Final Fantasy VII ass. Like, <laughs> right? You see it, right? <laughs> it's even the music sounds kind of similar too. The Final Fantasy VII remake with the with the Shinra ass kid in the white with his dog. You know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> it, it's literally just that. <laughs> with the battle with Cloud, right? Yeah, isn't Tekken so cool when you kind of know what you're doing? Look at that! Wow! <laughs> I'm hyped, dude. I'm hyped on this. Oh wow, Schleiden coming through. <laughs> the man stole a base. <laughs> nice. Oh, what does this music remind me of? This is like some uh, loop on the third shit. Loop on the third. Anyone remember that shit? That was a good ass show. I remember loving that when I was a kid. I don't remember much about it. I don't know if it's aged well at this point. Maybe. I think it was already old by the time I was watching now in Dolt's Win, man. Trying to get the launcher? I'll hit him with the one, two, two. Yep, get the trip. Oh, just stand there menacingly. Wow, you see that? Wow. <laughs> that definitely wasn't an accident or anything. <laughs> well, it worked. Get ready for the next Oh, freaking Lee's crazy, dude. Look how funny this guy is. Come on. He really just ran up and hit me with a Nakamura, bro. Can you believe that? Mm hmm. Bink, bonk, bink. Uh oh. <laughs> Let me get right out. Hey, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> Oh wow, he just wake up super kick, man. Kazuya, what are you wearing, dude? <laughs> he's wearing his purple ass shit again. <laughs> Why did Lee look like he's he's just coming straight home from work, man? <laughs> Was he like a security guard? Or is it officer? I'm trying to figure this out. What kind of officer wears yellow? Bink bonk? Hey, there we go. There's a nice little extension for you right there. Got him with that tsunami kick. Oh my god, get jailed so gnarly here. Look at it. I didn't know what to do. Look at this character, man. Against the wall. Bully. Jesus. Walter Cat's ghost is no joke. If you're playing te uh, Tekken 6, watch out for Walter Katz Lee, man. They'll mess you up. The man got that stance. He looks so goofy doing that stance, bro. For real, for real. Like, I'm sure in the real world, the, like, martial arts, it's probably got its, like, its reason. It's not like this is the first time I've ever seen it, but it just looks so goofy to me. Hey, Dude, I'm fifth key. I don't know what that means, though. Oh, it's, it's our uh, half-brother right here. Yeah, I guess Lars is a big deal now in Tekken. Uh, uh, ooh, hit him with the PT combo, bro. The launcher into the jab heel kick, man. The spinning heel kick, man. It's not a great combo, but <laughs> it's doable. <laughs> like, you could definitely, you definitely should be getting more off that. Wow, look at this guy's buttons, man. What are you wearing, Lars? Hey. You win. Round two. Fight. Uh oh. Pink bonk. Yeah. That's how I like memorize my moves when I'm like <laughs> trying to do all these. Woo, that one looks sick, man. Yeah, that launcher looked bad. Dude, Lars is kind of clean, though. Hold up. This character is kind of cool. Uh-oh. Okay, thank goodness, man. He was in rage. Wow. Oh, yeah, this fucking shit. <laughs> okay, has this happened to anyone else? Apparently, this is a problem throughout, like, every version, right? It's not just PSP, but this was mad funny, right? Nancy M I eight four seven J everyone. Okay, so this is an extra mode, an extra game, right? And I'm like, hey, look at this. I'm doing pretty good. I almost got them half health. I got the life lead, and then this shit happens to me. 
<laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> was that supposed to happen? <laughs> was it because that laser or did I just clip through the floor? What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, okay, so this is Jin's normal ass mode. Kind of badass wear sunglasses indoors at night. Like, that's like old Giga Chad right there, bro. With his torn up ass uh, cape and his green and yellow shoes. Hey, I approve of those. Man's like wearing armor. This is a weird ass shit. Elizabeth. Yo, look outside. Look. There's like red skies, man. It's the chaos that uh, Jin has unleashed upon the world, starting this war. I mean, I guess it wasn't his fault. He was being controlled by like the Azazel. That's the name. Oh my God! Look at these combos. Holy shit, man! These ghosts—they're not messing around. We ain't playing Tekken One anymore. <laughs> wow, that was sick. I love that kick. That yeah, the Rising Three. Yeah. Get ready for the next battle. One of my favorite moves in the game, actually. It's, it's so simple. Oh, why do you have a ranking match for Zazzles, bitch? Yeah. I mean, you can juggle them, so it's fine. Get him a 1 2 2, yeah. I was looking at uh, some pros. It was like Evo Grand Finals, and someone was playing Kazuya. And they were doing a lot of the shit that I was doing, which is cool. Just the <laughs> one, two, two. I guess that's one of his better moves, right? Yeah, it is. The frame data on is great. Like they obviously were doing crazy, crazier extensions than this, right? But I mean, keep in mind, I've been playing this game for like a, a week, off and on, through different versions, right? So I don't know. I'm happy with the progress I made. It's been fun. I haven't been able to spend too much time with it, but. For, for uh, the time I have spent, I've been having a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm definitely a fan of Tekken now. And whenever a new Tekken comes out, we'll definitely be uh, playing that day one and stuff, right? Or at least checking out the story. I don't know how uh, deep I'll get into the whole uh, uh, like online section. There's some killers out there, right? It could be fun. Check it out for a little bit, though. Maybe. Yeah, this, dude, this... This character, man. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't know how I'm disrupting that rolling thing. Hey. Let's go. Yeah, okay, that's arcade mode. Uh, have fun. Nice and fun, all right? So t tomorrow, we will be uh, we'll be wrapping up the Tekken uh, throwback. Wow, this has been fun. This has been a lot of fun. I hope you guys have been enjoying this. I'm going to... Uh, Gonna be labbing here with my um Roger, Roger Jr. Jr. Roger Jr. And I guess we'll see you tomorrow for the uh, finale second, dudes. We'll see you then, alright? Take care. <laughs>